Now the reason that we want to use oxidation numbers is it's a lot easier to identify what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. The better definition to remember of reduction and oxidation involves the oxidation numbers. A reduction is a decrease in the oxidation number and an oxidation is an increase in the oxidation number. So here's an unbalanced reaction where I've gone through and I've applied all the rules for assigning oxidation numbers from the last video and I got these numbers so from those numbers we can figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Whenever you find one element being oxidized something else has to be reduced. So for example iodine goes from a positive 5 down to a negative 1. That's a decrease in the oxidation number. So decrease in the oxidation number that must be a reduction. Oxygen was a negative 2 in both chemicals on the left. Oxygen is still a negative 2 on the right so that's not oxidized and it's not reduced. The thing that is oxidized is sulfur goes from a positive 4 to a positive 6. That's an increase in the oxidation number so it is an oxidation. And we can assign the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. The element iodine was reduced but iodine is not a reactant in this reaction. So to find the oxidizing agent, what caused the sulfur to be oxidized was the reactant IO3-. Similarly, what caused the iodine to be reduced was the sulfur, but the sulfur was found not by itself. It was found in HSO3-. So this is the reducing agent and the oxidizing agent.